Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman and CEO GE, Jeff Immelt. Productivity remains absolutely critical to the future of our industries for our investors and employees and customers, and the ability to move quickly, to continue to take advantage of opportunities have never been more important as they are today in the uh, volatile times that we live in. From a GE standpoint, we stand today as really one of the biggest, if not the biggest, industrial company in the world. We very much believe in the horizontal strength, what we call the GE store, the ability to do technology, globalization as a single enterprise. That's always been a part of our company and, and will be a part of our company in the future. We totally believe in this transformation of the digital industrial, that this is the next wave of productivity, that we need to be in the lead, and we need to be driving systems both inside the, the company and with our customers. As industrial companies, we averaged 4% productivity from 1990 to 2010. And from 2011 to 2015, the productivity of industrial companies has dropped to 1%. So the opportunity for industrial companies is to grab this next age of productivity. And whereas connectivity has allowed for information to flow, it hasn't created that much value. So we've got to turn connectivity into insights and insights into outcomes. And that's the industrial internet. The industrial internet is a fancy phrase, but what it really means is no unplanned downtime, asset optimization. And this whole new industry, we're in the beginning days of an entirely new industry that's all about getting productivity where it should be. So what does it mean to be a digital industrial? I'd start and say it's really about driving customer productivity, customer outcomes. That's got to be at the top of everything we believe. It's about the merger of physical and analytical. Asset performance management, APM, as being kind of the seminal way to get started in the industrial internet, to in link our internal productivity with external applications uh, uh, with our customers, and to really have new business models that really take the industrial internet into our industries in a productive way. So that's really critical. We used to think about this as a locomotive, right? This is now a rolling data center. It, it's filled with uh, sensors and applications. And the variety of applications that can go in a locomotive drive fuel performance. It, it allows you to find broken wheels. It allows you to understand what your emissions are. It allows you to track the locomotive. It allows you to run it more safely. It allows you to drive it with better uh, fuel performance. And so this is, when we talk about asset performance management, and the number one metric, if you're, let's say, the chief financial officer of Norfolk Southern, is called velocity, you can take these applications, drive this straight into your income statement or balance sheet, and you can see what the industrial internet is. So again, you know, everybody's got a buzzword, internet of things, industrial internet. What our customers like to think about is no unplanned downtime more productivity, more efficiency, more velocity, better safety. We take a wind farm. We have 22,500 wind turbines. There's more than 22 million sensors on the wind turbines. Uh, th these are now able to do condition-based monitoring to really change the sweep of a wind turbine uh, while they, they track uh, weather patterns. Uh, they can do uptime of the machines, platform optimization, do a better job of market intelligence to say when, does, when should the wind turbine be dispatched? Uh, what are the weather patterns that maximize sweep? This is the industrial internet, right? This is, this is the notion of having better productivity, 20% better power performance. This, if you're a developer, this is the difference between a 15% return and a 30% return. This is the industrial internet. You know, we need to eat our own cooking here, right? So in order to be credible, We've got to take our digital thread, which starts with engineers and goes through our manufacturing sites and goes all the way to our uh, installed base, and we need to make sure that we're implementing our own industrial internet programs. So as I said, we have probably 50,000 design engineers inside the company. Uh, we're now doing PLM systems, new applications on, on design. Our H turbine, which is the most efficient gas turbine ever made, uh, was designed in half the time it's going to hit its uh, learning curve in half the, half the time that uh, it used to take. 
It's at a lower uh, cost point in terms of uh, a me megawatt output than any turbine we've ever introduced. That's the industrial internet. We have 400 factories, uh, 100 of them are what, we're, what we call brilliant factories. These are completely sensor enabled, enabled to drive 20% less downtime, more productivity, more variable cost productivity. That's the industrial internet. And then just a vision for the future, because I think increasingly in a lot of our businesses where we talk about knowledge of the assets, knowledge of the analytics, building software, putting it in the cloud, ultimately all of that's going to be added to uh, financing. And when you put it all together, in, including financing, you're going to have new, new business models. And so in our case, energy and energy services, working with utilities and CNI customers, this is going to be a big new thrust for us. So we're going to combine predicts, financing, our knowledge of the assets, and, and lead into solutions for hospitals and retail customers and things like that. So we're going to create kind of a new co, an energy services company, that will have a billion dollars of revenue, the ability to do financing. And their charter is to take all of these analytics and turn it into real benefits to uh, consumer and industrial customers on a, on a global basis. So this is moving, it's moving quickly, and it's real. So let me just conclude by saying, you know, we are in this, you know, I don't really consider GE a software company per se, but we're a company that needs to be based in software to be successful in the future. So we plan to compete and compete hard as we go forward in the future. Uh, our customers already have realized about a billion dollars of productivity savings the only way to think about the industrial internet is not as fancy, it's about doing substantive things that customers appreciate in terms of productivity. No unplanned downtime, asset optimization, enterprise optimization. The only way to get from 1% productivity as an industrial company to 4% productivity is gonna be the internet and analytics. It's real, we're in the early phases, this is critical to drive industrial productivity in the future. We're driving it across the company in all of our industries. We're doing it as part of an ecosystem with our customers and, and various partners in our ecosystem. Uh, it's gonna move quickly. And there's no reason why every industrial company in this room shouldn't be a participant in where this goes. It shouldn't be given to somebody else this should be value that we create for ourselves and each other.